I don't do clickbait videos and before we even dive further into this video I'm gonna tell you right now you cannot find a better calculator for under $40 than this TI inspired cats right here Texas instrument calculators are everywhere which cannot be said for HP calculators if you go to a college right now and you walked into a math class chances are that 10 out of 10 students are going to be uh, using a, a text instrument calculator, either a uh, TI-84 or 83, or even uh, an, an, an Inspire. And the fact that uh, HP calculators are very rare is because they are not very student friendly. HP calculators, I've said, I've said this before, are, are, are made more for engineers because uh, their software is very different when it comes to uh, uh, text instrument calculators. And marketing us has also something to do with it and for those reasons in my opinion that's why they're they are quite more expensive a lot more expensive sometimes uh, when it comes to a, a Texas instrument I've seen uh, one of these on eBay not too long ago going for $130 used and I've seen uh, some of these on eBay several of these on eBay going for less than $40 somewhere even going for $28, $25 used, okay? And not only this is cheaper uh, than the HP 49G+, Plus, but it is also much, much better, in my opinion, when it comes to uh, certain students. You know, it's best for certain students to get this one over the HP. Okay, this, th these are the reasons. First thing first, you know, calculators being a fast or slow is has never been a really big issue for me. So, when I'm making decision to purchase a new calculator, my decision is not really based on how fast or how slow the calculator is, because every new calculator that comes out nowadays is going to be fast enough, and a calculator is always going to be faster than a human being can ever be. Okay. So for those reasons, I don't really uh, base my uh, uh, my purchase off of uh, the speed of a calculator for the most part. Okay, I'm obviously not gonna pick up a calculator for you know from the 80s, you know, because it is fast. You know, if you see me using a really old calculators, that's just because uh, you know I like them, I enjoy them, I like the build quality of those calculators. Now obviously, if I'm going to do some uh, serious work, I'm not gonna rely on uh, on a calculator from, uh, from from the 80s to do my work because it's going to be slow. Not only it, they are going to be slow, you know, they are also not gonna have uh, the functions I need, you know, to make uh, my life a lot easier. Anyways, so the reason why I believe this is much better for certain students, okay, I say certain students, not all of the students. So. The only reason, really, I can think of is those who are those who aren't math majors, you know, as in uh, those who are not gonna need a more than one or even two math courses to you know to get their college degree or whether it be their associate or even uh, their bachelor degree, you know, not everybody is a math major and not everybody needs a, a HP Prime calculator because that calculator is just overkill for most people, you know. Some people just need a uh, you know developmental math or even uh this this is by the way overkill for developmental math, but uh you know you can certainly do the the task right and some people need uh, just college algebra to graduate others need a uh, college algebra trigonometry or even you know uh up to calc or up to pre calc you know this calculator can certainly do all of this all of the stuff you can certainly do all all the cal calculus stuff you you throw at it and uh but uh, if you are going to take, uh, you know, Calc 1, Calc 2, or even differential equations, you can actually pull it off with these calculators, with this uh, RTI Inspire right here, because don't get fooled with, uh, you know, the non-color display. As you can see, most people would be tempted to go for this one, which I encourage because it is very convenient. The uh, color display makes it very usable at night, which cannot be said for this one, even though you can use it in a darker environment or at night. You know this one is much 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 convenient okay so the only reason someone would want to pick this up is the only reason I can think of really is the RPN RPN is really a RPN is really really nice feature to have you know I I was first introduced to RPN I believe 
it was in 2018 or 2017. I could, I can't, I can't quite remember. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly new to RPN, but I was able to uh, uh, learn uh, fairly quickly. So I'm really, <laughs> I'm really glad that uh, that uh, that I've discovered RPN because it is, uh, it is really, in many instances, I find RPN to be better than algebraic, uh, uh, than the algebraic mode, you know, which is something. Um, uh, uh, HP calculators are known for they are known for RPN reverse polish notation. I've done I've done a lot of videos about RPN in in every of my video. Every time you see me uh, review a HP calculator, I always talk about RPN because <laughs> making a, uh, a a video about uh, an HP calculator and not talk about RPN, you know, is like uh, I don't know. It's like going to a restaurant and not eat anything, you know, not order anything, pretty much. So that's only one of the reasons I can think of, and uh, RPN is really uh, it makes uh, certain operations a lot easier. It makes uh, some of your uh, operations less messier. You know, for instance, if uh, if it's going to take you uh, maybe uh, four or five steps to do something on here using the RPN mode, it's probably just going to take you half of the spe uh, half half the steps. You know, so I really enjoy RPN very much. And this thing can also operate in algebraic mode. Okay, algebraic mode is just you know you putting your normal you know stuff on the stack of your calculator and do your simple operation. Let's say like four times five. That's algebraic mode. You know you do four, you, you hit uh, the multiplication sign, and then you uh, uh, hit five, and it will it will speed twenty for you. And RPN is different. So you put four first. You know this is how I like to use it. I put four, I put space, I put five, and then I hit the multiplication sign. Or another way of doing it, you can put four on the stack, five on the stack, and then hit the multiplication multiplication sign. You know, so you might think, well, that does not seem any faster than uh, this uh, than this thing right here. Okay, so let me show you another example. You know, the reason why uh, RPN is uh, better than uh, uh, algebraic in uh, certain in certain cases. So let's say I want to solve an equation. Let's say I'm just going to solve this equation two x square uh okay so let me let me let me restart this i'm doing this behind the camera so okay let me just uh 2x square minus 2x uh minus 2x plus uh let's just do uh let's just do minus one okay so i have this on the stack if i want to solve it all i gotta do is just press same solve and press this one right here as you can see and it's gonna solve it for me and if i want to do the same thing here i have to go to menu go down to algebra, hit solve, put my uh, expression. As you can see, I have to deal with the parentheses and all that stuff. x squared minus 2x minus 1. I have to set it to be equal to 0, put comma, and uh, uh, specify my independent variable that I want to solve for, and press enter. Well, it does not seem too bad if you really think about it. Are these the same equation? Let me just go back and check. Okay. Mm, the answer uh, is uh, slightly different here, but it's really the same thing for the most part. Well, it's really not. <laughs> it's not. I put an uh, x square here and two x square over here. But uh, you get the idea. And some of you might still think that okay, this is even not too bad on a Texas instrument. But believe me, once you start uh, using RPN, you're gonna understand like how like you know how convenient it really can be. You know, and the fact that you don't have to deal with uh, I mean, uh, I mean parentheses and stuff, which can be a really pain. If you don't know how to use parentheses, right, you, you are going to get like a totally different answer and uh, you won't even know it. Sometimes you won't even know it, especially when you are using one of these uh, legacy calculators that do not uh, show things in a textbook way. As you can see, this one is uh, written pretty nice, nicely, like the way you would see in a textbook. So some legacy calculators are not going to show you that. They're just going to show you, uh, you know, all the multiplication, the, div the division, you know, the slash mark. So anyway, so that is that. So that's the only, that's the only reason really, I will, you know, and uh, I can think of that one might choose a HP calculator of the Texas instrument. And this thing is no slouch here. It can do a lot of complicated stuff. You know, it's got a lot of functions. I can never learn all this cal all of this calculator. You know, I can, I can pretty much just learn what I'm, what I, what I use calculators for on a daily basis. I don't really think anyone can learn everything about these calculators because they are just pack of features, you know, they are pack of features. They can both uh, write programs, you know, 
and this one you can even program keys on this one to you know to uh, do shortcuts which is something you cannot do on on any ti calculator you know so that's a really nice feature you know i don't know how to program on this yet because this is actually my first hp calculator well actually that's a lie this is my first rpn calculator that is also a lie i have a prime but i'm not really lying when i say this is my first my my true my first true rpn calculator because the rpn on the hp prime is a pure joke it's nothing but marketing you know that rpm is just it shouldn't have even been there you know it was just a waste of time and resources if you really ask me from hp power they should have just you know left it out so anyway so yeah that is that and uh <clears throat> When it comes to, uh, uh, you know, uh, simplifications, when it comes to algebra, this thing is a far better uh, calculator than HP. You know, this thing can, uh, this thing gives you better answers, you know, better results when it comes to simplifications, you know, and factorizations uh, compared to the HP. Plus, this is much newer. This one came out in 2010. This one came out in 2003, so that's seven years of difference. And the last update this thing had was not too long ago, 2014 or 2012. Let's let, let's check that. Okay, this one is running the latest software that is from. Let's check. 2014, and uh, the last time this one was updated was in 2009. So again, there is a major difference between the two here, and uh, not only that. This one has way, way like this. This thing has way many features compared to the 49G plus, even the 50G, even the 50G plus, which which was uh, you know discontinued in 2012. If I have a good memory, this one has far better feature. For instance, right now this one is uh, this one's got uh, the uh, this one uh, it's got the rechargeable lithium battery. As you can see, if you over the mouse over here, it's got a mouse. If you over your mouse over here, it says recharg the rechargeable battery is fully charged, as you can see. And because of, it, because of, uh, of um, its display being non-colored, it does not consume a lot of battery compared to this one right here. Like I said earlier, don't get full uh, with this, uh, this non-colored display or even this colored display. These things are essentially the same calculator. They are only one year apart. And with one year apart, you don't really you haven't gotten anything really if you really think about it perhaps some people might you know it is debatable that the keyboard is nicer you know and uh it is also debatable that uh you know this one might be faster but believe me i was not able to find a single a single task that this one does faster than the uh, non-color one to my surprise this one the non-color actually was faster in doing certain math, uh, some uh, certain math operation, which was, which I was surprised by, and I came to the conclusion that the fact that this one is colored probably has something to do with it. You know, the processor is probably you know uh, working it slightly harder to push those colors. That's probably the reason why this one is faster. But <laughs> again, it could be just me. I have not find I have not been able to do is a single thing on on here. That this one was not able to do it either faster or around the same time. I'm probably gonna do uh, uh, some more testing, just you know, just so, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, on top of having a, a rechargeable battery, this one also takes a triple A battery, and uh, the keyboard comes off. So the key, the keyboard being uh, being able to come off, you know, lets you you know just replace it if uh, you know if it ever breaks. So that is a really really nice feature, even though. Um, you cannot replace this with a different uh, keyboard, like a different calculator's keyboard, like uh, uh, the non-cast model, which was, uh, which is a really nice feature, or which was a really nice feature, depending on how you, you look at it. Because um, even though those calculators are no longer being made by Texas Instrument, you can find them everywhere. Because Texas Instrument are not only popular in the United States, but it's uh, all over the world. You know, they dominate the school market. You know, they dominate the school market when it comes to calculators. Okay, so this one comes off, and uh, you can put a triple A battery here. It takes four of them. So if you don't have uh, uh, the battery, or if the battery dies on you, you can always uh, you know put your triple A batteries here. So you're always good to go when it comes to this one. 
and not only that if you are missing both batteries then you can just uh, plug into a computer and it will work just fine you know I've done that before and uh, that is a really really nice feature you know I cannot even emphasize that enough and you put uh, the click the, uh, the keyboard back on it does not fully boot you know it's already it's, it's already ready to you know to to, to, to to start for you okay so you probably might be wondering okay now you you told us okay uh, this calculator is nice it's cheaper we all know but why do I need it for my for my classes I'm only taking college algebra why do I even need a uh, why do I even need to pay for this calculator? Why can't I just, you know, pick up a, a cheaper one like an 84 or even 83? Well, it's my question to you. Uh, if you have uh, the choice between uh, a Ferrari and uh, a Honda Civic, would you rather go with the Ferrari or the Honda Civic? Again, some of you might say, okay, I'll just, I'll just take the Honda Civic all day long because it is, you know, it is slow, even though it is slower, you know, I don't really care for speeding and uh, the insurance is going to be less expensive plus the gas is going to be less expensive but that's the best example i could come up with right now we are talking about calculators man <laughs> there is no you know there is no there is not nothing complicated about calculators you know you just you just charge it you just uh, plug it you know plug it to charge it and uh, take it off and just go about your business about it so yeah that's my you know that's uh you know that's my that, that's my answer to you but it is worth mentioning it is something really really important though these are probably not going to be allowed in tests but the reason why you probably want to have them is when you are doing your homework you always don't have access to you know to a tutor or a professor so you can just quickly check your answers you know you can check your answers and uh, you know learning uh, calculators with a computer algebra system is it's, it's gonna help you it's, it's gonna help you you know uh, discover functions the number of stuff you know sometimes when you don't have anything to do you can just pick it up and just play with it you know play with it look uh, look at the functions see what they do you know things like that so that's probably why that's that, that's one of the reasons i can think of right now that you probably want you you might want to you know get this instead of a cast one and when you are even taking a uh uh more complicated math classes yeah like i said this thing can do pretty much anything the uh more beautiful color edition can do or even the cx2 that came out in 2019 so you really aren't missing anything by having this the only thing uh you are missing is just the color display that's about it that's the only thing you are missing you know in some ways it's even better than the color display if you don't mind the color then uh, you know this one is a far better calculator in my opinion because they are literally about the same speed same speed and uh you know same speed and this one takes uh, an extra uh you know battery triple just take this one takes the extra triple a battery this one only operates on one battery you know and uh yeah so that is that and before i end this video uh i want to do some uh uh quick comparison speed comparison what, what's the point of making a comparison between these two calculators if we don't you know challenge them a little so let's go to graph Okay, I've got a bunch of stuff over here. I don't even know how this stuff got here, bro. Mm, okay, so I guess I was working with this earlier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, delete a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna add uh, an equation. And uh, you know, this thing, uh, the one of the reasons why you wanna avoid this calculator is because it is, uh, is a very interesting uh, calculator okay it is very interesting as you can see it shows me a uh, y2 you know you can either just uh, put your equation here we're gonna do something uh, simple uh let's see let's just do uh, x cube x cube uh minus uh x plus one Okay, how is that gonna look? Okay, let's let's just do this one. Again, the reason why I say this is a complicated calculator is that you see this. I can just copy this. I can cut this if I wanted to. I can remove all this stuff and just uh, paste the one I just cut here, and it will still work. You know, for those who don't know that, you know, you might be confused. And I'm gonna put the same function here. So all you gotta do is just spread this twice, and uh, let's just uh, erase this and uh, just type here 
and erase this function as well and uh, or instead of just erasing I'm just going to replace it what's happening here okay let's clear this one really quick okay, let me just clear this okay so the function was x cube minus x plus one okay did it just graph that without even me doing anything okay so now i didn't so that's the old graph so let's go and graph graph it here first as you can see it graphs it graphs uh, the function almost instantly almost immediately so it's pretty much instant as you can see here if i graph this one so let me make sure i raise the uh, previous graphs and draw so this is how long it takes for this one it's not too bad if you really think about it but when it comes to more graphs uh if you put a uh, uh, more than one graph here then uh, the calculator is going to start struggling so let's go ahead and add a second graph here this one is a uh, clock at 75 megahertz and this one is over 120 megahertz i believe so this one is much faster like much faster than this one right here and uh but also the ti the hp can also uh, do certain operations much much faster than this one even though it is uh, old even though yeah even though it is older so there is that so i'm just gonna type here and uh, add a second graph so what, what would that be let's do uh x square and shift it down by 10 units well what, what just happened okay Okay, so you already graphed it for me, so I gotta remove, that. shift it down by 10 units. So I'm gonna press enter. So as you can see, it's, it's almost instant. If I wanna do the same, th the same thing over here, then press this one. So, okay, so with this one, you have to cancel first and uh, click add. Or well, actually, let me see. Uh, let me just cancel it. I think, okay, let's see. I think you could have just pressed the on key and it will. Yeah, you can just press the on key and it will take you out. So let's add another one. So that's going to be x square. Shift it down to 10 unit. I'm going to press enter on that one and uh, click draw. So this is how long it's going to take. It takes a lot longer, as you can see. So the more graph you add, the harder it becomes, uh, the harder uh, it, gets, uh, uh, it gets to graph these things on the calculator. And that's just uh, reg your, your regular functions. If you are gonna be dealing with 3D, I really, I've always found 3D to be kind of you know gimmicky because you know you don't really use it in uh, you know those cl co uh, college classes, college algebra, or even trig. You don't really need it in those classes. So I've always found it to be gimmicky, but it's good to have it. You know, I would rather have it, not need it, than need it and not have it. As you can see, so in order to do 3D graphs, so let's go and cancel this one, and uh, I'm just gonna erase everything and. For the HP, I have to go to 3D here and change this function from uh, function to fast 3D, okay? And from there, I can just go to my equation and erase, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna delete one and do, and do this one, x cube minus one. I'm just gonna leave it as is. And for the TI calculator, you have to go to action, entry, and change from uh, let's see the equation to okay let's see equate function equation parametric polar sequence okay let me pause let me pause the video and figure this out really quick this one could be okay hold on would it be trace i don't really want to pause the video because i don't like editing my stuff function equation i'm sure 100 percent that this one has a uh, 3d maybe this one is uh, a slightly less updated uh, software but if the 89 has 3d there's no reason why this one wouldn't have it would it okay let me pause the video okay so it took me a while to figure it out <laughs> i don't really often use uh, these calculators the ones that the, the, the only calculator i use a lot is actually believe it or not is the uh, texas instrument 89 ti 89 titanium that's by far my favorite calculator you know because uh it is it was my very first not only graphing calculator but my very first calculator ever okay so from here if you go to menu and uh go to view normally the 3d option should be here but it's not here because we are 
uh, we, we are using uh, this uh, scratch pad do document here in order for us to have access to 3d graph you have to go to home and uh, had a new graph here as you can see at the bottom it says add new document I'm pretty sure if you add new document it should work as well so add new graph and uh, from there we go to menu view and uh, we can just select our 3d graph here 3d graphing so as you can see we can uh, put our equation here so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the same thing x to the power of 3 mm, minus x plus 1 I've never graphed that one before so erase everything and now let's go ahead and uh, try to do them at the same time one two three as you can see the ti is always going to be the fastest when it comes to graphing as you can see and uh the graph even looks much nicer than on the hp as you can see so let's go ahead and graph a different one cancel this one and we are going to change this one make it x square most people are familiar with that one I don't know why, but x squared is just uh, feels like it's one of the most popular function. <laughs> okay, so for if you wanna uh, change this one, you can just uh, double tap anywhere or just one one click, one tap, and scroll up. We can we're gonna, we just wanna change it. Nothing complicated. X square. I'm gonna erase this one first. One, two, three. As you can see, the TI is literally instant, and this one is no slouch either. Don't get me wrong, it is pretty fast. But overall, Texas Instrument is always going to be faster when it comes to uh, GPU demanding stuff. Uh, as you can see here, even CPU demanding stuff, the Texas Instrument is always going to be faster. Okay, as you can see. So, yeah, so that is that. So, I hope uh, this review was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section and I'll make sure to get to them. But, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, uh, the HP moves better than the Texas Instrument, even though TI is faster, it's really slow to move around, you know, this one is far better, in my opinion, so that is that. If you have any questions, just make sure you let me know, and before I forget, I, I told you that I wanted to compare these two, mm -hmm. just to show you that you really aren't getting much with uh, this one, but the color, hmm, what's going on? Okay, I was trying to increase brightness. Let's see. Okay, uh, let's see. So to challenge this calculator, you really... Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Let's see this one. View. Okay, here is the same, it's the same story. So you have to go to home. So let's just uh, make a new document. I don't need that and uh, add graph yeah it's gonna be the same thing this one is just uh, more steps menu view 3d as you can see here so <laughs> one thing I failed to mention is that the display on this one is much bigger as you can see in calculator world this is this is much bigger than this one okay so in order to challenge this two we're just gonna to have to put a more than two more, more couple several graphs uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just. Uh oh, I didn't mean to graph it. Yeah, we really. Yeah, we cannot. We cannot not graph it. So there is that. <laughs> what just happened? Okay, Z one. Z1, Z2, it's gonna be X cube. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Mm. Was it minus one? As you can see, pretty, pretty instant. Z2, it's gonna be X, uh, X cube. Let's just present it. Syntax. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this right here. So as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty much instant. Obviously, the color one is gonna look nicer because it is color. You know, it is, it is looking nicer. So yeah, that is that. But they are both slow when it comes to spinning or turning the graph around. And uh, I think I wanna say that this one is the non-color is smoother. Some people might argue with me about that, but I, I'm just telling you what my eyes are seeing. As you can see here, <laughs> that's all I'm saying.
this one is moving nicer than, than the color one again the screen being colored probably is uh, probably forcing the GPU or the processor you know to uh, work harder yeah so that is that again you really aren't missing anything with this one beside the color and if the color is not an issue for you just pick one of these up this thing will last forever you know if you get one well maintained uh, I don't know if it's this specific one but I've got uh, several of these and my first one was I got my first one 2016 used from uh, you know from from a local uh, seller and I, I still have it I, I still have it it works it still works like new so there is that this video is damn too long <laughs> I didn't want to make it this long but it is what it is if you have any questions just make sure you put it in the comment section thank you